Welcome to this presentation on the efficiency characteristics of regulated switching DC to DC converters. In this video, a simple formula is introduced that accurately characterizes the efficiency of such converters. This formula is well suited to be included in the specifications of commercial off-the-shelf converters or COTS, which typically specify the efficiency only at maximum load. Now, a typical efficiency curve for a single output regulated converter looks like this. Some manufacturers provide this curve for single output converters. But for multiple output converters, such a curve cannot be provided simply because the output power can be any combination of the individual output powers. It has been shown in the reference article at the bottom of the screen that such an efficiency curve is given by the following equation. In this equation, POH and PSC are two parameters defined as follows. POH is the measured input power at no load, and PSC is related to the measured maximum power by this equation. It is important to emphasize that both of these parameters are measured on a converter unit and not computed from first principles for a particular converter design. They are measured at two points the maximum load point and the no load point. Once these parameters are inserted in the efficiency formula, the efficiency at any load can be obtained as we shall see in the next example. For our first example, we consider a single output isolated DC to DC converter. It happens to be a two switch forward converter. It has an input voltage of 255 volts, an output voltage of 78.8 volts, and a maximum output power of 260 watts. On this converter, we measure the input power at no load to be 7.395 watts. Therefore, our first parameter POH is equal to 7.395 watts. Also on this converter, we measure at a maximum output power of 260 watts that the input power is 273 watts. Therefore, our second parameter PSC is computed according to this formula. And it turns out to be 11,755.47 watts. A mighty big number for a small converter. We substitute these two parameters in the efficiency formula and we plot it. Here we see the solid curve given by the efficiency formula to be in excellent agreement with the measured values. I would like to iterate at this point that the two parameters 7.395 watts and 11,755.47 watts were measured at two points the no load point and the maximum load point. In our second example, we consider a COTS converter built by Vicor. It is a regulated single output converter which has an input voltage range from 36 to 60 volts, an output voltage of 3.3 volts, and a maximum output power of about 60 watts. We do not know about the details of the design of this converter, but we do know about its electrical characteristics as reported in its data sheet. Here, we see that the efficiency is 86.5% at nominal input voltage and maximum output power. Also in this data sheet, we see that the idling input power is 4 watts. This is the input power at no output load. Therefore, POH is 4 watts. This is our first parameter. Also in this data sheet, we see the maximum power point. At 48 volts input, the output current is 18 amps and the input current is 1.43 amps. Therefore, we can compute our second parameter according to the given formula. And it turns out to be 671.3 watts. These are the two parameters that we need to characterize the efficiency of this converter, POH and PSC. Let us see if we are right. When we substitute these two parameters in the efficiency formula, we obtain the following graph. Next, we superimpose the measured efficiency values and we see that agreement is very good. 
In fact, these data points were transcribed from the reported efficiency curve in the data sheet of this converter. Therefore, it is recommended that DC to DC converter manufacturers specify these two parameters at minimum, nominal, and maximum input voltages. This provides a better characterization of the efficiency, especially for system engineers who employ a large number of these converters in their systems. Typically, both of these parameters have a small dependence on the input voltage, and for a more detailed discussion, see the reference article at the bottom of the screen. For a multiple output converter, the efficiency is given by the following formula. In this formula, PO is the sum of all output powers, PO1, PO2, PO3, etc. POH is the measured input power at no load on all outputs. PSC is defined for individual output at maximum power on that output, while the power on all other outputs is zero. Now, for a multiple output converter, it is impossible to provide efficiency curves. Manufacturers today provide only a single efficiency point with all outputs at maximum load. This formula, on the other hand, allows for the specification of the efficiency at any load condition on any one output in any combination. Therefore, a manufacturer can supply such a table in which POH, PSC1, PSC2, PSC3, etc. are specified at minimum, nominal, and maximum input voltages. This will give a complete characterization of the efficiency of the converter at any load and at any input voltage. Thank you.